Well, we have breaking news coming in for you. The Jammu and Kashmir governor has dissolved the assembly. The JNK governor, Satyapal Malik, dissolves the assembly of the Mehbooba Mufti Sikh's uh, appointment with the governor. Joining me on the phone line at this point are uh, senior uh, journalists in, in Kashmir, Farid. Farid, could you give us an update of what's happening right now and what the uh, next likely steps are going to be? Well, uh, very fast uh, development through the day as far as uh, the politics of Jammu and Kashmir is concerned. Uh, first, uh, there was this uh, sudden news of this uh, Gadbandan between uh, the PDP, between uh, the BDP, PDP National Conference and the Congress. Uh, then, uh, in the evening, uh, uh, the news came that uh, the PDP state uh, claimed to form the government, uh, claiming that they have 56 MLAs, support of 56 MLAs, which means uh, MLAs from uh, NC and uh, uh, the Congress, they also counted in. Now, uh, after that, there was another letter that was shot by Sajjad Loon, uh, who has the backing of BJP, claiming to form the government and again saying that he has uh, uh, the required numbers. Now, uh, the latest is that uh, the JNK governor has dissolved the assembly, which uh, uh, effectively means they have put to rest uh, uh, all uh, the speculations uh, with a vis a vis government formation, and all these claims uh, clearly have been rejected, and he has uh, dissolved the assembly. This will obviously lead to a lot of furore as far as uh, uh, the government, as, as far as the political parties are concerned. As uh, We've been told that probably they may uh, go to the court and challenge this step of the governor, keeping in mind that this has happened just uh, half an hour after uh, these parties take claim to form the government. Well, Farid, uh, from what we understand, uh, and this is this is what uh, we were told, that the PDP has 29 MLAs and has staked claim to form the government uh, with the joint support of the National Congre Conference, which has 15, and the uh, Congress Party, which has 12. Now, also the governor now has decided completely to dissolve the assembly instead. Uh, where does that, or have you had any sort of response so far from either the PDP or the NC to this dissolution of the assembly? Uh, well, uh, this uh, through the day, in fact, was a game of cat and mouse where uh, uh, there was uh, political one-upmanship, uh, one trying to outsmart the other. As mm. uh, it, it was kind of a uh, chess game that we were trying to play, where uh, one move from one side and uh, then quickly the other side was coming in. Now, through the day, it was uh, a master stroke, if I can call it, from uh, the parties like uh, the uh, Congress, uh, the uh, PDP and the National Conference who came uh, uh, unison and uh, tried to throw a spanner in the BJP works. Because if you remember from the last two, three months, it is the BJP with the Elvis Jadnon and Chen been pushing for government formation. There were reports of some dissident MLAs within the Congress, PDP, who may join ranks with uh, the BJP and uh, Sajalun to form the government. So it seems that this uh, master stroke of uh, coming together and sending this letter worked and uh, under pressure. It seemed that the center to the governor uh, decided to dissolve the assembly. Now, we'll have to wait to, for an official clarification from the governor's office as to why this has been done. As of now, we just got a letter that uh, through the powers that is vested in the governor, he has decided to dissolve the assembly. But as I said, this uh, could be the start, start of uh, more politics and all this because now you'll have uh, parties like the PDP, Congress, and National Conference crying foul and saying that they had the numbers to form the government. So why did the governor dissolve the assembly in Jiffy and deny them their right under democracy to form the government? So this uh, probably would be the next line of action as far as uh, the uh, these parties are concerned. They may go to the court. They may also try to uh, up the ante and uh, amp up uh, as far as this action is concerned in social media and generally amongst the masses, trying to suggest that this uh, was their right and it has been denied uh, by uh, the BJP through the government. Well, in fact, uh, that letter that uh, was what the Farid was referring to basically came comes in from the governor's secretariat, uh, the Jammu and Kashmir, that says, by the virtue of the powers that are vested in me, um, from the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir, I hereby dissolve the legislative assembly. It came out uh, just today, my colleague. Uh, Farid, please stay with us if you can on the phone line. But my colleague Tanvi Shukla joins me in the news pit. Tanvi, we understand... Uh, that there will be several very upset politicians in Jammu and Kashmir right now. Could you give us uh, some reactions uh, of, of what's coming in? 
Well, um, uh, clearly, Fay, like Farid was also pointing out, there has been a lot of drama that just unfolded today. Uh, just a short while ago, when Farid had uh, spoken to one of the senior leaders of the National Congress, he had told them that uh, these are just, uh, you know, bizarre claims that are being made by the PDP, that we are in no talks and we will not be forming the government with the PDP, uh, which just goes on to show that if actually, as Mehbooba Mufti is claiming right now, that uh, National Conference uh, is supporting them, then that means within the National Conference there are two separate camps. We have to keep in mind, Faye, uh, the fact that uh, National Conference and PDP are like rivals uh, and they've never really joined hands. PDP has been in power uh, with the support of BJP separately and with the support of Congress separately. So if they join hands with Congress, that's understandable. But if they do join hands also uh, with Omar Abdullah, and then that may lead to some amount of unhappiness within the National Conference uh, itself. There was also a bit of a drama just an hour or 50 minutes ago before this news came that the governor has decided to dissolve the assembly because Mehbooba Mufti took to Twitter and she said, have been trying to send this letter to Raj Bhavan. Strangely, the fax is not received. Tried to contact the governor on phone. He's not available. Hope you see it. And then she stabbed the governor on social media. So she actually went to social media to uh, call out the governor and say, hey, we are staking claim to form the government. I have the numbers, but why are you not responding? Uh, 50 minutes after that, Faye, we've uh, seen this letter come yes. now from the governor's uh, office. So, so, so there will, they will of course, be uh, some contention on whether or not the governor's uh, you know, action here was valid given the fact that someone did want to even to stake claim and was seeking an appointment and he if this tweet is to be taken seriously he or at face value he made himself unavailable uh, and from what we understand governor's rule will continue but we do know that our sister channel times now is breaking that farooq abdullah has made a statement saying that he is happy that this has happened and he is glad that early elections will take place. He welcomes this decision saying at least now elections will happen. If I can go back to Fareed on the phone line. Fareed, uh, is this a possibility that while the NC was supporting uh, you know, the PDP government, Farooq Abdullah turns around and says it's a good idea to have elections at this point. At least we'll have elections. Fareed? Exactly. Uh, see, that's uh, what I was referring to when I said it's a game of cat and mouse. It seems that uh, uh, this masterstroke, uh, that uh, these, these, uh, this, or should I say this drama, kind of a drama that was enacted by uh, the PDP, the National Conference, and the Congress. So uh, this, uh, this, is, this is really reality check as far as Barack Obama is concerned. He's absolutely right. This has been uh, the, the stand of the National Conference. But uh, in the last two days, uh, apparently what they've come out with is uh, that they will support uh, a government formation of the PDP Congress state claim. And it seems that that has uh, caught the BJP on the wrong foot. And now we've seen that it was uh, the result of that is that the Assembly has been dissolved. So it means that uh, uh, they did not want uh, the this is Mahalat Bandhan to take place, whether it would have taken place or whether it was just a smokescreen. Uh, just to hoodwink the BJP. So it seems that that has worked. Uh, the assembly stands dissolved, and this was something that these parties who were demanding. In fact, if you talk to uh, PDP in the National Conference and Congress, uh, they would tell you that uh, this should end because uh, there, there is a possibility of false trading. There are uh, the dissident MLAs that are being pinpointed by uh, the BJP, by Sajad Noon. Uh, they're trying to uh, garner this support by uh, uh, any which way, and uh, that, in fact, they were hinting at uh, money exchanging hands. So there were all sorts of allegations that is being leveled. Now, what this means is that uh, effectively every uh, aspect of government formation uh, or talk has been put to rest uh, by the governor's resolution of the assembly. And from uh, now on, there could be a proclamation of the yes. president's rule. And right. Then, we also uh, have MK yeah. Malik. Uh, right. Uh, Farid, thank you uh, for that. MK Malik, senior journalist, joins us right now on the phone line as well. Mr. Malik, thank you for joining us. Uh, I, I just want to understand your point of view. Do you believe that the governor's action at this point was warranted, given that uh, Ms. Mufti has now declared on social media that she made several attempts to get in touch with him and seek an appointment? You are asking me? Yes, yes. Yes, Mr. Uh, Malik. Obviously, obviously, there has been manipulation at the top level. There have been, you see, BJP was caught caught off guard. The, 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 this move was more a defensive move than an offensive move. This move to form a government, because there, there was a um, poaching spree from different parties, and then and nobody was trying uh, keeping it secret. 
he was saying that we have got um, so many from uh, pdp so many from congress so many and naturally they reacted differently they came together to more to safeguard them it was more a defensive action than an offensive action number one number two it is obviously it has an impact it has created an impact kashmir is very sensitive to these developments All right, uh, 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 Mr. Malik. One second. I'm just going to cut across to Omar Abdullah. Has put a statement on Twitter, from what I understand. इस प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस का मकसद था और अगर इसके बाद आपके कुछ सवाल होंगे तो हमारी कोशिश रहेगी कि हम उनका जवाब दे सकें उमर साहब हाउ मच यू आर कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट योर दिस सेकंड जैसे मैंने आपसे कहा और मीर साहब इसमें और रोशनी डालेंगे हमने बहुत इस पर बात अंदरूनी तौर पर एक्सरसाइज किया और हार जीत पे तो मतलब सौ फीसदी तो कोई नहीं कह सकता है लेकिन हमें ये लगता है कि आज के हालात में दोनों सीटों पर कामयाबी हासिल करने के लिए इससे बेहतर हमारी स्ट्रेटजी हो नहीं सकती उमर कंसिडरिंग एक मिनट आप मेरे साथ इस पर थोड़ी सी रोशनी डालें साथियों को सलाम उमर साहब ने बहुत ही सब थोड़ा कुछ Well, at the moment, it is only in the area of speculation. The PDP National Conference and Congress are trying, and it is also reported that the BJP and uh, Mr. Lone, mm -hmm. they are also trying to form another government. So I, I think. at the moment the whole thing is very hypothetical mm -hmm. and is speculative the question is who commands majority support mm -hmm. if the governor is satisfied that there is a leader who commands majority support in the house then the present governor's rule may be revoked and a government may be allowed to form so whoever has majority and the governor has to be satisfied that he has majority but sir also uh, it is a fact that the governor's rule has a tenure of it which is That's also right. coming to an end and also in december it, yeah and also it says that uh, the par, like the state can continue with the president's rule is it like to uh, like is it only to uh, bother all these to get away to this that's entire thing has been planned or happening so like as a constitutional expert what do you think you know the constitutional position of jammu and kashmir in some respects is different from the position of other states in case of jammu kashmir there is provision for governor's rule and there is also the provision for president's rule right now they have the governor's rule under the jammu and kashmir constitution but under the constitution of india it is also possible to have president's rule so when the period of governor's rule ends then it is quite possible constitutionally to uh, issue a proclamation of president's rule mm -hmm. so then what do you think like uh, shall both the like as uh, the uh, government and is coming to an uh, is it like another uh, there will be proper dissolvement be before this entire thing as of now the speculation is coming it might be true no the solution of the assembly you mean yeah yeah the solution of the assembly would uh, would not be necessary for this purpose the mm. solution of the assembly can also be done if uh, if the governor finds that no government can be formed or if the term of the assembly comes to an end then the question will be of holding fresh elections and all that mm. but till the term of the assembly continues mm -hmm. then there can be either a government formed by well that's the latest right now the jammu and kashmir assembly has in fact been dissolved um, from what we understand and this is after uh,
Mahbuba Mufti used her Twitter handle to point out that she'd been trying to get in touch with the governor, but the governor was not reachable, that his, uh, from what we understand, fax machine was not working. She then attempted to send him a letter by Twitter saying that we need to, uh, you know, we need to have a meeting because she wanted to stake claim to form the government. Omar Abdullah has tweeted saying the Jammu and Kashmir NC has been pressing for assembly dissolution for five months. It can't be a coincidence that within minutes of Mehbooba Mufti's letter staking claim to that order, uh, the order to dissolve the assembly suddenly appears. Uh, that's a tweet that has come out as well and that will obviously be a developing story at this point that we will come back to in a little while. But we want to bring focus back to the story that we had prepared to bring to you today.